Hi, it's Tom Dixon. Welcome to 24 Hours in Shanghai. Sorry that Corona has stopped us from traveling again, but it really hasn't stopped us from creating a jam-packed 24-hour schedule uh, through digital means. We've had the Tom Dixon brand for 19 years, and we've been in China for almost 10, but I don't think people really know our story. So here's a brief introduction. Honestly, I had no idea that I would ever become a designer. I'd been in the music business and I'd worked in clubs. And it was really when I learned how to weld that a whole new universe of possibilities opened up to me. I found myself really enjoying making objects that had a function to them. People started buying them. That's when I turned into a designer. I'd like to think that if we get our job right, these things will last for many generations. I started the Beak Project by accident. The original objective was a not-for-profit trip to India where I took half a dozen students from the Royal College of Art, sponsored by the British Council, um, to work with street metal workers in Jaipur in northern India. These people who make these lamps traditionally have made water top, which you see a lot in villages in India. Um, to carry water from the well and to hold water in um, houses. Copper and brass have been used for years because they're hypoallergenic. But gradually these pots are being replaced by plastic water vessels and the metal workers are finding themselves without a job. So we sat around trying to find alternative functions for their skills and you can see the heritage of the water pots very clearly in the shapes that we've got here. We found a misshapen white plastic lamp moulding in the factory. We decided to get that moulding metalised and we were shocked at how extraordinary it looked, particularly when we tried a new technique of semi-transparent mirror coating. You could see through the reflective surface and view the amazing patterns created by the light bouncing off the internal curved surfaces. Our factory told us that we couldn't use the shape as it belonged to some Swedish designers, but luckily it turned out that those designers were friends of mine called Front. So I got in touch with them, licensed the shape, and the result is our most successful lamp ever. And the moral of this story is that sometimes not designing is the best design of all. I do think that fatness has become a negative word, but in the world of upholstery, it has to be a positive. So when we were looking for a series of pieces of furniture for our new headquarters restaurant, the Coal Office, in London, it felt like a good moment to celebrate plumpness, generosity, and comfort. So we started with the fattest, simplest, and most reduced of basic shapes, inspired by frankfurters, inspired by balloon art, and inspired by just general cuddliness. So the cone, the cylinder, and the sphere have been recognized for thousands of years alongside the cube as the building blocks that allowed most other shapes to be constructed. Even Archimedes demanded that these shapes be placed on his tomb. Now, I don't really want that on my grave, but these shapes have been really good to me, and we use them in as uncomplicated a way as possible on the tank collection of glassware. And despite the basic shapes being so common, it still feels like you can reorganize them in a way that is fresh and contemporary. Well, really important you know, so how light works in a space. So not just looking at, at the actual object and whether the object is beautiful, but also thinking about what effect it makes in the whole room is very important. And I, I'll, mm. be, I'll be working more and more on those ideas of, of you know, creating spaces from um, the intangibles as well as the tangible objects. And, and is there anything I need to understand about how to design, in, like for instance, for my shop, what's the tip for me? Rounded corners? No, I, I think, I think um, just be you. I think people like authenticity. And I think Tom Dixon being Tom Dixon is more important than Tom Dixon trying to be something else that he's not. And I, I think uh, Chinese can tell authenticity. Um, and, and if you try to be something that you are not, um, I, I think you are a British brand, you are a brand that deals with industrialization. I think, you know, celebrate that and I think you'll do well. I've been trying to make metal chairs for 30 years, I guess, 
And this is um, one which has taken me at least three years to get right. It's um, made in a factory that specialises in car body parts. The chair is glued together, just like the car industry. No welding, no rivets, but glue. And it's 100% recyclable. We've been working on this for a couple of years with Hydro, the second biggest aluminium company in the world, that really use um, as much water power as possible um, for the vast amount of energy that's used in processing aluminium. Welcome, Tom, to Design Shanghai. And we are very happy to be part of your 24 hour campaign in Shanghai. Yeah, well, thank you for hosting me. And it's so nice to at least be there as a hologram, even if I can't be there in person. Hello, I'm Paul. First of all, I'm really honored to take part in this collaboration. To us, we are much more into the process instead of outcome. We reuse the recycled plastic pieces that we left in previous project, and those plastics were memories to us. And in this way, we want memory to lead us showing the diversity, the contrast of unfinished. When deconstructing Tom's fat chair, we find all the details hidden inside, which reminds me the book that Tom gave to me, which contains tons of his amazing ideas. So we decided to add pages of Tom's books into our mixture. And by the way, I'm really sorry, Tom, that I tear up your book, but you know I love you. For the chairs were done, I'm thinking what I need when I'm sitting on it. For the first one, I'm imagining sitting on it and really want a glass of wine, so I want a side table. I'm imagining reading novel before bed, so I need a lamp nearby. I want to sit on the chair and having lots of fine memories, and that's what I did. And um, that's all. Thank you. Hi! I'm so excited to receive this mail card for Tom Dixon. It's been amazing to do 24 hours in Shanghai. Again, shame I couldn't be there for real. But thanks for coming. And let me play you out with my friend Rosie Chan, accompanied by Bei Bei and Teenage Engineer. Next stop for 24 hours is New York City in November. <laughs>